Well, I try to take a look at a pumpkin splat. Um, this is a demo, though. Apparently it's at, like, version 0.9, so I assume it's an almost finished game. They just never completed it. Because it's been sitting in the demo state for, like, six years now or something. No, nah, not really necessary. No, nah, I might as well play the intro. But I have to admit, for a puzzle game, this isn't very fun. Um, because the puzzle basically boils down to a uh, trial and error. <sighs> Jeez. Why do they live so far away? Probably make the kids burn off all that candy. Still, the house is pretty sweet. Their place looks like something out of an old ghost movie. It's awesome. We can't stay too long. We gotta go in, get that thing, and scram without looking suspicious. I mean, yeah, we can look around and chit-chat. Maybe play a few games, but that's it. I'm sure they get close to me. If anyone asks about me, tell them I'm your babysitter. Also, I'm gonna wear something different to this ghost get up. I don't want to sweat under this bed sheet. So any questions? Yeah, just one. Why are you walking backwards? I'm what now? Oh, that. Just so you know, bad habit. Yeah, it just happens like breathing. No, no, it really isn't. Sorry. Well, nothing to accomplish staying around. Let's get going. Jeez. Well, we've arrived. No one knows on the first floor, eh? Weird. But you also can't save freely in this game, you gotta have candy to do it, which is kind of annoying. Like, why would you limit the save feature like that? I guess that's a statue. Yeah, whatever. What we're looking for can't be found over here anyway. Jackie? So I see you here, and here I was thinking I'd be alone tonight. Well, not anymore. How'd trick or treating go tonight? Better than usual? I wish. I think there's like five houses open for trick or treating. It's like Halloween was cancelled this year or something. This sucks. Is this a friend of yours, Jackie? Name is Violet Neville. We've known each other since kindergarten. And who are you? Oh, you're right. I'm Jackie's babysitter. Why don't you pause before babysitter? If you're not, and you're holding Jackie Hosh until those folks pay off your college tuition, I'm gonna scream. Besides, I'm still in high school. No, you can't save up now with hostage money. Yeah, trust you, right. Uh, maybe. Ouch. Well, no. Isn't that an interesting person to see running up the stairs? Probably should go investigate that. Only it's gonna get us into trouble, alright. You can hear it on the ceiling. Yeah, this game loves long pauses in the dark, man. Where's Ray? They're right behind me, right? You really don't want to come up here. Why did you follow us? What's up? Where's the... Ray, where's Ray? No, I thought they were following me upstairs. Yeah, kind of babysitter are they? Here, let's get home tonight. Make sure Ray doesn't get paid. What's that noise? Come on. Jackie, what's wrong? Jackie? Like, 
Jeez. How we dodge that? Yeah, he probably should. But considering we know Ray got picked off in the dark, is it really safe running back down the stairs? Yeah, thanks. What the bleep was that? Some sort of evil jelly? There it was. It didn't follow us back, thank God. You aren't thinking about going back up there, are you? But I gotta find Ray. What about you? That thing hard to kill me. I doubt it'll spare you. So I just, you know, don't want you to become a monster food. Yeah, she's gonna let us do it anyway. Oh, now it's okay? I don't know what I'll do with myself if you die. And I'm here to help you. Right. Ugh. Well, now, let's see. Look through the keyhole, which basically turns up nothing every single time. Sounds like that monster's behind it. Well, nothing. Okay, open the door. I'll assume if I go after the other one, I just die. Uh, there's something written on the bottom frame. Till death do us part, I'll always love you. Right. Lights shine too bright. Uh, yeah. That's just a hole. If you go through this, you die. Because I've tried this one before. Nothing, of course. Well, that ain't encouraging. <laughs> yeah, what are you doing up here? Uh, sorry, you aren't a leopard slug. Well, by process of elimination, that leaves only this door, right? Because you have to have some way to go forward. Well, now... September 9th. Looks like the newlyweds came a day early. George got apologizing for something, but he never specified what. Say sorry until his wife, June, told him to stop. Say much about George. He dresses, speaks, and behaves normally. He's so normal out there's nothing distinctive about him. June, on the other hand, is quite interesting. She stands out in her adoration of all things blue. She also shares the same love for gardening as me. Maybe this year she could help me win the death of my poppies? Loves blue, huh? Yeah. Let's see. Well, no. Nothing. Oh, jeez. Like I said, you're kind of just forced to try stuff until you know you succeed. It's annoying. I really don't like the game because it just seems like it's all trial and error. Ugh, why does it show this? Oh, it shows you where you're saved at? It's always gonna be the same spot, so who cares? Ugh. Open door. Okay. Sadly, I can't really speed through this too much faster than I am going right now. <sighs> Plus, we already read the notes, so it doesn't really matter to see it again, right? I assume we need to get all the pieces to win. Well, now. 
Oh, nice. There's holes in the floor we can trigger. Cool. Tried stepping on a slug and stepped onto a hole. <sighs> like I said, this game just gets annoying. Because you never know what's really behind these doors until you try them. Oof. I mean, maybe I'm supposed to just assume, you know, that uh, certain markers indicate doors that are dangerous, but I don't even know if that's true. Which makes it all the more annoying that you can't peek in here and see what's inside. Like, it's just always blackness. Like, come on, man. Except in the few cases where they're like, oh, it's too bright, you can't see in there. But then you can't see anything anyway. Probably ain't safe. You want to move, damn it. So I guess there are doors with stuff in them. Okay. Nothing. Great. Well, let's see, I guess. It takes forever to go through these doors, man. Like I said, it's annoying. Like, there's not even clear indicators which doors are and aren't dangerous. So it's all, you know, random guesses. Which sucks. Like, really, you just gotta keep trying doors until you succeed. It's almost pointless to even look at them, you know? I love how we can just walk through this door sideways, though, apparently. Okay. At some point, we're gonna have to go backwards, I'm sure. Come on. Would you just hurry up? Well, no. Hmm. Nothing. Okay, sounds like the monster through there. That's just a slugs. Well, no. Useless. Well. We're running out of doors to try, what can I say? Like I said, I just don't like this game. Okay. Try and start marking this on a piece of paper. But I have to admit, I don't have enough space for how many doors they keep throwing at us. Dead end, probably. Open door, I guess. Come on. Okay, get out. Oh, nice. 
Why won't you open? Not oh, that thing. Press the engine's press. Applying force will bust it open. That being possible, I mean, you humans are capable of fantastical feats. Oh, maybe you can get a head start. That's what I would do. Oh, excuse me. I haven't introduced myself yet. Could please come towards the mirror? I asked if you could approach the mirror. Do we have a choice? Good, I swear you did not understand English, or were you just ignoring me? Yes, I should show myself to you, no? Give me a moment. Right. Can't you see me? Hey, wait! Well, now... Jackie? Huh. What's up? Are you okay? Did you hit your head on the wall or something? Now it's gone, right? You okay? When did you get here? I've uh, been here for a while. What are you doing here? You should be at home taking it easy. Well, I would, but I followed Sis here. She just snuck out of the house again, probably for another guy. I think this is the eighth one. You guys should have to call this song this time. You know how it is with being alone. What's wrong with her? Do you want to look for her together? I think I should find her myself. Besides, I don't want you to catch my cold. Alright. Have you seen a doll around here? Brown skin, black hair with a highlight wearing a red and black dress? Hmm. No, I don't think so. Why? Oh, no reason just asking. Huh? That's not suspicious at all. No, never mind. Forget it. It's too late. Well, now... How does one exactly do that? Well, now... I don't think the slime orange mucus is the only thing we should be worried about. Don't tell that thing has a little orange spawn. Is the slime or not? I'm not sure I ran up before I could find out. Uh, anyway, kind of, so I'm guessing you couldn't find the... I mean, Ray? Stop calling them that. They're on the second floor. Second floor? Alright, I managed to get to the second floor and those weird rooms is here. I think it was weird. Just lying around somewhere. Oh, I'm sure it is. Dead? Just... <laughs> gotcha. Joy. <sighs> well, now. What is this? Share a bowl of chopped sulfur from a distance. It looks like popcorn. Yeah. Imagine if someone pulled a prank where they made someone choose which bowl out of pa which had a raw egg. You know, yeah, they eat what they chose. Am I now? I oh, have to wait. I'm gonna stand by and make sure my amazing Slugman puppets are used properly. Uh, 
Yes, I have to tell you. It's ten or so years ago. First house in the Chipperman Mansion it was owned by a rich man named Clark Sheik. Better days, Clark was hair, the famous white Hibisco Hotel. Not only that, but he was going to marry the love of his life. The hotel one night went up in flames, taking away his family and fiance. Many years later, a couple rented a spare room in this very house. It probably seemed like the couple and Clark got along well, but as time went on, they avoided any mention of Clark. Some say that Clark was ill and the stress of taking care of him took a toll on their view of the old man. And then... They... one day, they died, right? I mean, come on. Drawing this out doesn't make it scarier. When was he gone, the young couple was found in the backyard, dead. Some say Clark shackled a stair on the very grounds of Chipperman Mansion. There have been sightings of him at night walking in the forest, and they say his face... No, his body resembles an orange slug. Yeah, pretty sure he's seen that. Is it? Please have me able to confirm the sightings, and Clark might be long gone. Heck, it's become a joke that Mayor Chipman is the slug man. He even goes along with it. What a sport. That's no joke. The couple was found dead in this backyard. Trying to call a promise this was a respectful interpretation of events. I wouldn't use my skills on something insulting. Will it now? Jeez. Ugh. Where else is there? So basically, we're just going to get the backstory now. Yes, it's about to begin. Uh, the famous tale surrounding this very mansion. Now we should just claim that this isn't fully based on facts. We're taking some liberties with the story. So enjoy the show. Liberties, eh? So I moved into Township, Ohio, and this is hard to read because the color differences, man. Yes, yeah, so let's get going. Why a picture of a slug? Yes, I tied to that just for you. You don't have to keep saying his name, man. What, did he really talk in the third person? Jeez. Oh, Say, could one of you do me a favor? Should I run out pick up some more? I'll give you money. Yeah, that doesn't seem suspicious at all. Sure, it'll be a quick trip. Alright. And that's when they die, right? Come on. Jeez. Don't know what you'd want with these, but they'll come in handy someday. Uh. Golly, Grandma, you scared me. Wait, what do you mean by phony? I'm no phony. Of course you are. I'm talking about the man who calls himself Clark Schneck. Say what? I'm the first girl to live with him, dearie. Plenty went to live with him and plenty more died. Oh, wow, you're the rudest old lady I've ever spoken to. Yeah, he said so himself. I don't need this. Good evening to you, ma'am. Well, I warned him. Oh, jeez, the classic bad guy music. I... Uh oh. Yeah, classic evil laugh. 
Yes, dinner. Ah. And quite dead, right? I thought he was going to eat me. I was so scared. Ah, yes, that's why they need salt. To kill him. Gotcha. And they still die at the end, right? Or are we just going with a happy ending? Just a spite box kid over there. Ugh. My time, my energy, my thread. Waste time eager altar to be family friendly garbage. Sorry, another play like this. I've pre someone shoots shouts Macbeth before it starts. Ah, uh, it looks like the kids enjoy it, so that's good. Roulette runners. Eh, whatever. <sighs> well, we'll save again, I guess. Though I guess we're not getting anything dangerous for a bit. Man, how low do you think this snake psycho was? It's gotta be like some. He just gotta have his own private library. Oh, it looks about slugs, and he is the slug man. Well, no. Ah, uh, just some poetry, huh? Guilty brain. Why is there a piece of candy in here? Okay. Ah. Well, no. Just keep trying, I guess. Well. Uh. Ah, it's a metamorphosis in a classic book. Well, novella, it's kind of a short story. So one of the three Gorgon sisters turned whoever looked into her eyes in the stone. But she was undetectable to the Gorgon sisters. Magic fag and another he the snake haired monster and stored her head. Yep, I guess we're gonna have to worry about running to Medusa at some point too, yay. Well, okay. Mutualism helps both animals in a relationship and Benefits one harms the other. Those inflicted negatively by parasites referred to as a host. Um, well, he takes our parasites off of zebras. Zebras get free growing, like oxpecker gets a meal. I suppose it is. Well, no. Great. Well, I'm complaining. So this fellow should be slithering on the mayor's furniture. That's just rude. And great. He is still here. Ah, jeez. Out of the frying pan, floor and into the snow, belt of Ohio. Thankfully, it hasn't snowed yet. Otherwise, if we have a job, I should look for. Any greenhouse is hiring before it gets cold. Seems like we'll be living the fellow gardener, although his is more of a pastime than a career. According to him, he's been living off his family inheritance for the last four decades. Guess must be running low, or else we have a room for rent. Well, this house is gorgeous, ginormous. Maybe you wanted to fill in some extra space. I wonder why these things has these diary scraps. Yeah, that is a good question. Well, no. Well, jeez. Selling a store of furniture from other stores. You took what you bought and sold it for a higher price. Really, still sell them stuff before closing. Uh, 
jeez. Well, let me guess, we're gonna die now. Why are we petting this weird slug anyway? You wanna get out of my way, dude? Like, I'm literally trapped until this thing moves. Well, that'll do it for this episode. Till next time, then. See ya.